How's it, guys? Last day in Paris. See you next time. No, I joke. I joke, I joke. I kid, I kid. We are off to go meet up with someone's sister. I wasn't gonna get to see her, but now I do get to see her because if you guys were watching yesterday's vlog, you will know that my flight that was supposed to have left three hours ago for South Africa uh, was canceled. And then they put me on a new flight to a different part of South Africa with another connecting flight back to Cape Town. That'll be leaving at 11.30 this evening. So we're gonna go and meet up with Sav's sister for lunch, because she's in Paris for a little bit. And then I'm coming back to deal with all, all my bags. Yeah. We have decided that Paris is very upset that I'm leaving. Isn't that right, Sav? Actually, you don't need to turn around because your umbrella might fly away. But Paris is crying. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we are meeting up with Al at her hotel. And check who's there. Margie Thatcher, the Iron Lady. Look at this thing. This guy, I think, is the Army Museum. I'm not 100% sure, but it's beautiful. I went to take a photo of this guy. And look at what we've got here. You guys already know what it is. Are you ready? Okay, wait, wait, do you guys know what it is? It's a puddle. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this without messing up the focus oh look at that okay the photograph does it way more just and we're coming to this place for lunch it's right opposite the little armory museum but Le Vauban Vauban? Le Vauban Le Vauban it's a French restaurant so I panicked and went for a lasagna because Sav ordered it as well and it looked and sounded good so it comes with a little salad. We are heading to go find a nice photo. So there we've got the, uh, what did I say it was? Musée de l'Armée from the other side. We're gonna go try to find a picture of old Margie Thatcher over there. So the road that we've come to is Rue de l'Université. And check this out, this is a bank, LCL, and the windows are all smashed up. So maybe the protests came through here yesterday, and we might not have seen them, but look at what they did. I'm just assuming that, that, that this has to be that, because when else would people just go nuts on a bank like this? Judging by all the people standing, taking photos, that must be the spot, must be the road that we want to go to. Oh wow. Yep, there we go. With the sun underneath. Oh, she's right there. Huge. Okay, we've got our photos. The girls are just getting a selfie. It is cold, guys. It's so cold. Just look at her. That's probably the last look I'll have. And then uh, I'm hopping into the metro and uh, I'll be done with Paris. The sunset is also kind of looking nice. Kind of nice, you know? Which way am I going? This way. Oh, how's that? All sorts of signs, I feel like. The big, okay wait, you can't see yet. Can you guys see them? Yeah, I was gonna say the umbrella. But can you see beyond the umbrella, the rainbow? Massive rainbow. Here's me. Ah look, this bridge, for those who are interested. Passerelle de Bille. Um, well, first off, you've got the epic rainbow there. The bridge itself is pretty cool. And on the bridge, you have a good view of the Eiffel Tower and all the sunset, depending what time you come. So, any photographers, this is the bridge you want to be on. Trust me. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you will know, or you might recognize the bridge and the Eiffel Tower in the background from this photo. That's right. I'm almost the model. <sighs> I'm gonna film all my last stuff now because I'm not gonna want to do it with my uh, with all my suitcases and everything when I finally have them. So the last time I'll be leaving the McDonald's, the Big M, the Golden Arches. I'm definitely gonna miss this place. All the last moody, pinky, purpley. You guys seeing that sunset with the clouds and the different tones and the shades and the colours. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'll be alright. 
odds are I'll probably end up coming back to Paris very soon. You know, things, things just happen like that. It'll be like, oh, I've been in Paris for a year. I did one thing here with Smart, and then I'll leave, and then everybody will be like, Matt, we want you to come to Paris to work with us on Le Coq Sportif or Lacoste. You know, all the fashion brands are going to be screaming to work with me soon, I'm sure. But if not, no biggie. All the things are finally packed. That's not my bag, that's Sav's. But there, boom, 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 packed, packed, packed. Now I'm just vlogging. And how's this? Just thought I would throw this in there. In a full year, I didn't manage to finish a jar of instant coffee. Hmm. Okay. So that was the last time I'm leaving the flat. Um, last time I'm walking down these stairs. Oh, and I've got this huge duffel on my back. So I've sent the bags, the other ones, down in the escalator. Elevator. Lift. Okay. I am pretty confident that either I need to build up fitness or, or I'm overweight in terms of luggage because this thing is getting so heavy and this you buy a cheap bag with cheap wheels I knew it was going to happen but I just figured I'd manage and I forgot that I'm not fit ah. Little update, I've managed to get a load off my shoulders quite literally, oh jeepers and I'm using a trolley but I've got to push this hand luggage thing as well, so we're making a plan. Hello. Okay, not this one. I can take this one ah, off. Le petit. Le petit, oui. Mais, um, okay, we've got some issues with the locks. Because... Be your fingers. Yep. Okay, we got it. Okay, so basically what the problem was, is this bag was overweight. This bag was overweight. This is 35 kilos, which is forbidden, because the max you can have is 32, so I've got a thingy, but I put these locks on that I didn't have the keys to that I was just going to break open when I got to Cape Town, because people in South African airports do tend to like to stick their hands in your bag. Okay, the good news is that the bags are checked. Uh, I managed to distribute the weight, but now the integrity of my security system on my bag is questionable, and also the structure, structural integrity as well compromised because I had to move stuff around after perfectly placing everything not really I just kind of chucked everything in there all right that's that um, this is the last of France I'll see not from the airplane obviously as we know airplanes can be very noisy so I will say my final goodbyes and thank yous to the government of France who probably didn't really know that I was living here thanks to the fluid European borders thanks to all the people that were friendly and welcoming, all the people that I chatted to, and this goes out to you. I will check you um, after a little flight montage um, in tomorrow's vlog when I'll be home, kind of. We'll see how it goes. Just in case it wasn't clear, that was the sign off.